Oh, Jim, great. That was a, a beautiful, very impressive uh, building. I was telling uh, my friends here, uh, I was with uh, the late uh, Dr. Billy uh, Diamond, and also uh, the late uh, Dr. Uh, no, not late, uh, <laughs> Dr. Ted Moses and myself, and we just had all our, our, our honorary doctorates, you know, and then we were in Wiscaynish, and they were, uh, the patient was going to be uh, evacuated, so they brought him into the, uh, into the, uh, uh, the airport, you know, and uh, put him into the, uh, into the airplane. We looked at each other and said, we're doctors and we're useless, can't do nothing, can't help his patients. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad we have a doctor, Ashley, who's a minister of, uh, of health, that uh, is with us. But I cannot help her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> well, Mr. Hibert and Mr. Uh, uh, Yvonne, right? right? Pronounce it right? Thanks, yeah. Uh, Minister La Roche and, of course, uh, Chief Scarpio, Chairperson uh, Moses uh, Perobno, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Wajia, bonjour à Nanaskum, et Gitanot, Sidjesh, et Optman, ou Etanot, Kia. Kia, but the big, Nishni Jibichanda, big, Seminar de Vidivikia. I don't know how I'm going to translate all this stuff I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just sharing some uh, stories, that's all. Well, I guess uh, we are here to mark a very important event. The inauguration of the Mississippi Community New Matsum Center. This is, as you all know, is the accumulation of years of effort by the Pre-Health Board of Health and Social Service James Bay and its government partners, the Department of Health and Social Services, of course the Secretary for Aboriginal Affairs, and the Cree Nation of Mississippi and the Grand Council of the Cree's uh, Regional Authority. Just a, a bit of background uh, will be useful here, I believe. Back in March 2005, after several years of negotiations, the Cree signed with the Government of Quebec an agreement respecting the health and social services in James Bay. This agreement resolved certain issues related to Section 14 of the James Bay Northern Quebec Agreement. It provided a funding framework for the operations and capital investments of the Cree Board of Health and Social Services of James Bay. The 2005 Health Agreement was extended in 2010. And we knew it last summer for another five years. In 2000, can somebody help this guy that's coughing? Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Interruptions. You know? <laughs> I was on the road. Here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the, the 2005 health agreement was extended in 2010 and renewed last summer for another five years from 2013 to 2018. The agreement is a major milestone in development of health and social services for the creeds of uh, Inuit For the first time, it, it has provided certainty of funding for the Cree Health Board through the adoption of a funding framework that clearly spells out the rules of the road for operational and capital budgets. It commits the Cree Health Board to implement by means of annual action plans, the strategic regional plan for the development of much needed health and social services and facilities. It established a steering committee for the Crees in Quebec to review progress in the implementation of the strategic regional plan to discuss future action plans and to address potential difficulties as they occur. The health agreement has been a, a great success. It has permitted the Cree Health Board to consult and expand existing services and to develop new services to meet Cree needs. The board's uh, group now assumes responsibility for all service delivery. The board has made significant strides in improving services. In the Cree communities, the centers are implementing integrated service models to make possible what they call a one-stop shopping 
for health and social services. The multi-service day centers are delivering therapeutic programs and services to the elderly and adults with special needs in Cree communities. In the Cree communities, the youth services are being developed, include youth protection services and youth uh, healing services. And the public health services are being developed in all the Cree communities to serve all segments of the Cree population, the elderly, adults, the youth, children, and hopefully grand chiefs. <laughs> Additional uh, staff have been recruited to provide expanded uh, services. The Cree employees are assuming greater responsibility in administration and services, to delivery related to increased professional training, and of course that uh, development. In addition to service development, the board has embarked on an ambitious program to improve facilities in the Cree communities. A first success story was the construction and completion and commissioning in 2009 of the new community of a new Matsun Center in Wiminji. This CMC is fully operational. It's providing a model for the delivery of integrated health and social service in the Cree communities. Staff housing is a necessary precondition to the development of health and social services. Under the 2005 agreement, some 275 new staff housing units have been in partnership with the Cree First Nation to improve the service offered to the Cree communities. And another 232 staff housing units are to be built by the Cree Health Board under the new health agreement signed in 2012. Now today uh, we mark the inauguration of the Mr. Snee Community Mew Matsun Center, announced and began in 2009. This is a very impressive facility. I was telling uh, some of the people that was with us. You know, I, I grew up here. Uh, I grew up uh, just down the banks here, where we had no water and sewage. We had a flying uh, doctors and, and dentists, and most of the time they were weathered out. But now we have new facilities. You know, I really enjoyed visiting the uh, the dentistry area. You know, uh, and I said that uh, we will not no longer have yellow teeth. <laughs> we will have uh, some good teeth. Actually, I have all my teeth, believe it or not. I'm going to hang on to them as long as I can. <laughs> Anyways, you know, uh, <laughs> we did check that. <laughs> I had witnesses. <laughs> I had pictures. <laughs> I actually opened my mouth. <laughs> You know, one of the most impressive things, of course, is the uh, homodialysis uh, units, you know, that makes it possible for the treatment in Mr. Sneed. We're up to 12 patients a day, as I understand. The patients who before had to travel to Shibumo or Montreal, this will make a tremendous difference in their quality of life and with their families. <coughs> Central will provide, as I understand, other new improved services. Radiology, that's not... Uh, Roger, Roger, over and out. <laughs> That's something to do with uh, x-ray. Yeah, I'm trying to full uh, laboratory services, dentistry, youth protection, and social services. All these services are vital to the well-being of the Cree Nation uh, of Mississippi. But I also understand that this facility will be used by Jibugmo, uh, people from the Kwanapi. So, so it's a real multifunctional uh, building. Yeah. I, I suppose uh, one cannot conclude these without uh, thanking the, the people that were involved, uh, especially the efforts of the McGuigan Construction uh, Inc. and the Creek Construction Development Company in the construction of this fine facility. Uh, should be noted, I salute them for their success in carrying this uh, project. The Cree Nation of Mississippi, Chief Richard uh, that provided support for the allocation of land in many areas, other ways for this major uh, project. Chief Scampio, uh, I want to thank you. Council of the Queen Nation of Mississippi for your steadfast support throughout the uh, execution of this project. If it were not for the vision and determination of the Cree Board of Health and Social Service, James Bay, the center would still be a dream. If we, if we are opening it today, a real bricks and mortar facility, it is due to the courage and the perse perseverance of the leaders and staff of the Cree Health Board. I wish to recognize the critical contribution of Chairperson Bella Moses Peruagno, former uh, Chair uh, James Bobbers, and Executive uh, Director Mabel Harodio, 
You know, Mabel, Haruna and I have a, have a secret. Of course, as a leader, I'm very transparent. <laughs> While we were tur touring, you know, I, I kind of got lost in all this uh, building. So I'm, I'm uh, walking in the lobby, and who did I run into? It's uh, Mabel. So I said, Mabel, uh, where's everybody? He says, they went upstairs. I said, okay, how do we get upstairs? He says, well, there's an elevator here. So we walked into the elevator. It was dark. <laughs> I told Mabel, don't scream. <laughs> You can tell, uh, Mabel said, uh, you know, uh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Good thing there was no cameras. <laughs> There's a camera <laughs> Well, it was dark, you wouldn't know what you were doing. <laughs> How did I? That's not even my notes. <laughs> but I think uh, this project demonstrates the importance of partnership between the Crees and the government of Quebec and improving the lives of the Crees of Inuit It's the government of Quebec, in particular the Department of Health and Social Services, <coughs> that agreed with the vision put forward by the Cree Health Board in its strategic uh, regional plan. Quebec accepted to provide the funding framework, the capital en envelope, that made the construction of, the, of this facility possible. Without this support, we could not be here to open this facility today. And uh, Minister uh, Hibert, Minister Yvonne, and Mr. Larouche, on behalf of the entire Cree Nation of the NSG, I wish to acknowledge the essential contribution made by Quebec to this project. You can see for yourself what a beautiful facility this is, but you can scarcely imagine the difference for the better that it will make in the lives of the Crees of Mistsni and other communities like Richibugma or Swampy. For that, please accept my Thanks. In conclusion, uh, as a former chief of this uh, community, as a member of this community, and I won't live here anymore, I live in Nemska, uh, but, but certainly uh, it gives me a great honor and a privilege to be able to see uh, a project come to realization. Uh, I, I, we thought we had a great facility, the green building that you probably went by in your tour. You know, I thought that was the biggest building when I was a little kid, you know going there to get my teeth pulled out. Uh, but now you see this facility, and I know it's Shaitan. The good with big Jama Dancy GP Chedo, Sir Bagel Twenty Days can open the door. Wow, we are young and and what and big upset. Dancy Jutta, Dabato can open the nanos, then Dabato Jama to the Jutta, Nandum Skego, Dancy Jutta, sweet she big. And I can suggest that a lap the man get Jom Sega, but sick made him steal and ask him no. They could then get them good at Pierre Mitch Jim.